Sidekick and welcome back to my channel Sidekick and in today's video to do the gaming light intensity test using the Dijo GoPods T. Yes friends finally a lot of users did ask me this kind of question how is the gaming light intensity in this uh, using this Dijo GoPods D. So the price of this GoPods is about kind of close to uh, I think uh, 1500 rupees so right now so I did order for about 1300 rupees during the initial offer which we do have. Let's see friends while playing the Battlegrounds mobile is there any kind of latency or not that is what I am going to test in this video. So right now the Dijo GoPods D they do have the latency of up to 110 millisecond as you can see super low latency they do as you can see here but in, if you want to activate that kind of super low latency you need to use the realme link application only then you will be able to activate it let me need to open the realme link application first so once you open the realme link application so you will get this kind of option which is the gaming mode as you can see friends so try to turn on the gaming mode so the gaming mode is successfully on so now let me need to go back to the game which is a battlegrounds mobile let's see how is the latency while playing the game the only way make you understand if the latency is that i'll try to keep the mic uh, near this kind of earbuds so then you will be able to hear my firing rounds so how much latency is there that is what you can definitely hear the moment i am pressing and the moment you are trying to hear the voice so that's that is what the delay let's see how much the delay you can actually expect during this kind of testing so now as you can see friends, the mic is near this kind of earbuds only let me to slightly increase the volume so you can actually hear the volume properly. So you can hear my jumping sound as well when I am trying to jump. And you can hear my walking sound, walking footsteps as well. So you can hear the side uh, players walking footsteps if you want. So now I'll try to use a couple of uh, fire shots I'll try to do and then you'll be able to uh, see how much the latency is actually there using this kind of method. So during this time of demonstration I'm trying to use a Realme X1 Max. So these are Realme X1 Max device which I'm trying to use. So during this time of demonstration. So let's see friends, uh, don't forget to comment below in case if you are facing any kind of latency delay or not. So that, that is the reason I am trying to do this kind of testing, I am not sure. So don't forget to comment below, so in case if you are facing any kind of issues. So I'm trying to jump just to make you aware that obviously the sound quality during my jumping. So far it seems to be good, I'll try to do the side by side comparison with the Realme Buds Q2 as well. So I do have the Realme Buds Q2 with me, I can do the side by side comparison. They do add the 85 uh, milliseconds of delay, so I'll try to do the, those kind of comparison in case if you are interested.
So this is a quick review fans of using the Tejo uh, Tejo Go Pods D. So in case if you have any other queries, you can definitely comment below. I'll be, I'll be able to uh, help you out. in the comment. Thank you for watching this video friends overall in, even in my review as well uh, i did find uh, there's not much delay i would say in, if you turn on the gaming mode so i cannot feel that much kind of latency but definitely in, in case if you want or uh, want me to compare side by side with the realme buds cute i can definitely do the side by side comparison as well even using the dijo wireless neckband as well even the wireless neckband also got really low latency 80 milliseconds already to do the side by side comparison so thank you for watching this video friends and i'll see you in the next video and then stay tuned for more updates meanwhile bye